Hi, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. So today, it's actually going to be part two of our trailer uh, battery system uh, install. So the battery is already there, obviously. The cutoff switch for that is not. So as of right now, for the trailer, for th the travel trailer, there's no way of disconnecting the battery without physically disconnecting a battery cable. So in the event that we ever needed to like work on anything within a trailer that runs off of the battery system, I just want to have a quicker access to be able to just turn it off without having to take off the lid, without having to undo cables, without having to do all that extra stuff to be able to go work on the 12 volt system. All right, so if you didn't catch the last video, which I'll put up here, you can go check that out. Obviously, I didn't have some of the parts that I needed and some of the work that was done on the trailer whenever we picked it up, i.e. they had to install the things for the sway bar connection, which in turn had to move some of the electronics. And whenever they did that, I don't like the way that it was done. So I'm going to be redoing some of that stuff, but you can go see that in that video. But for today, I already have the the switch installed on the lid, but I do have some more cables that we're going to be going in and installing. I do have a better bus bar that we're going to be doing and then uh, some other hardware <laughs> that I was missing for the first time. All right. But I also have much shorter uh, cable than what I originally had so uh, it's not going to be all coiled up inside of the, the box and just looking ratty okay all right but before we do that you can see uh, I'm not wearing a hat I yeah I'm looking pretty shaggy and I, <laughs> I would prefer to wear a hat but I'm actually gonna do a mail call quick before we head out to the travel trailer so as you probably have noticed I have my uh, proud veteran homeowner. So we, when we bought this home here, we went through Veterans United to do our VA loan. And we reached back out to Veterans United to possibly do a second loan for land. So it's actually a little different doing a VA loan for raw land. There's one of those things, uh, well, there's a lot of stipulations that kind of goes in with a veteran loan. So as of right now, we are not going to be going that avenue, but uh, we'll get a little more into that in the future whenever we actually start looking at a little more properties and once we've moved. So our plan going forward for this summer is we're going to be getting this house on the market we're going to sell this house. We're moving to a friend's house or to their property because he already has an RV hookup site on his on his uh, land. So we're going to be moving the trailer there. They also have a mobile home on their land that is vacant that they're going to allow mom and dad to move up. So Gladys's mom and dad will be moving up from Texas into that. Uh, home as well why we are looking for property so it'll give us the opportunity to actually be living locally in arkansas for much much cheaper than what <laughs> we are living here now and that way we can go physically look at the land and, and all that whenever we start deciding where we're wanting to live for our forever property okay so that's just a little bit on that so you guys are aware of what we're doing, okay? But as of right now, we do have mail. So I've actually, I've already opened this, but this is a, it's a Welcome to Veterans United Home Buyers Tactical Kit. So the very first time we uh, went through Veterans United, right, we got some shirts. The flag that's back here, that is also a gift uh, for 
uh, basically representing, right? I, I have worn this shirt and actually I have two of them in many videos that we've done and we are proud to be part of the Veterans United family. But they've also reached out to us and have done uh, another gift and whenever I opened it, right, it, it does come with a nice little letter picture and this is uh, Miss Dawn Plank. Uh, this is who we were working with um, recently when we were reaching out to try to do the, the land. So as of right now, like I said, that it's probably not going to work out. Uh, namely because we we would already have to have some type of house established onto the property or mobile home or whatnot or do all that together and right now we're just we're not really going looking to do that avenue okay because we are looking for raw land to be able to put the trailer on that way we can start doing clearings and start building our home and all that uh, so maybe in the future what are, we can go through and do like a refinance of the property and then use our family over here at Veterans United. Uh, but as of right now, it, it's probably not going to work. Okay. So, but in the box, it also comes with a home buyer a technical manual. So it's just a, a, a nice little read. It's a message in here from the Mick Pond. All right. A little letter. And the, the good thing about Veterans United is that they do pick out veterans to like pay off their entire loan. I don't know how often, I, I want to say they do one or a couple per year, uh, but they'll reach out. But if you're going in here, you can actually see, you know, the different uh, banks, right? So they, they have in here listed Wells Fargo, Rocket Mortgage, Navy Federal Credit Union, USA, Veterans United, and then all the, the different, um, VA home purchases and they're the number one. Okay. And th those are just some of the, the name brands that, you know, people that, that utilize the VA loans, but Veterans United is number one. Okay, and this just has, you know, a step-by-step, -step, you know, thing of basically what you're going to be doing utilizing your VA loan. So, if you're a veteran and you're reaching out or you're trying to buy a home or buy land or just if you wanted to refinance the, your current uh, conventional loan, definitely reach out to, to them because they're great people. They've definitely helped us out a lot whenever we got this one. And... uh yeah, they, they love their people and they reach out with some gifts as well. So, and then I got some cool socks. <laughs> uh, it says, let's kick this thing off. Uh, some cool socks. And then we also got, is a flag mount. So it says the Veterans United uh, Home Loans on the side of that. So we will definitely be utilizing this after we move. So I definitely thank you guys uh, for sending that out. But even though uh, we're probably not going to be utilizing our VA loan right away, uh, I do want to thank uh, Don for sending us this awesome gift. Uh, it's definitely appreciated. All right, and then up next, we have this package from Bonfire which I haven't marked out our address, <laughs> so I'm not gonna show that. But this was actually something that I had ordered to help out some of our uh, friends and family, or family that we have here on YouTube. So I'm gonna break out my wing knife for my awesome beard. This was one of the uh, Beard Up Challenge. So if you go back and watch some of those <laughs> videos from the past, there's the knife that I won for having the longest beard. All right. But this is one of the reasons why I'm not wearing my normal hat because I had ordered a hat and I was waiting for it to come in and it finally came in this weekend. And, uh, it is awesome. 
So here we go. SLR, Simple Life Reclaimed, 41.36. All right. <laughs> so yes, they are um, out in Arkansas. And they do live in the area that we are looking at, uh, living near. Obviously, it's not going to be in the same town, but probably within an hour-ish away, give or take. And uh, we've actually met them out in Oklahoma for one of the last meetups that was done out there. And uh, yeah, can't wait to be neighbors. So, great channel, great people. And let's get this put up. Let's see. Oh, shoulder still. <sighs> but I'm going to have to get this sticker taken off. I'm going to have to get the bill shaped up. Because I'm, I'm not that, that flat bill type person. But there we go. <laughs> it's, it's always great to be able to, to help out a uh, fellow channel and purchase some of their merchandise from Bonfire. And if you guys didn't know, we have our own merch on our own Bonfire store, and that link is down in the description. I'd greatly appreciate it if you go check it out. So, for now, that's all the mail that we got. If you would also like to send us mail, whatever it be, it doesn't matter. It's up to y'all if you guys are wanting to support. I do have our... P.O. box listed down in the description. And uh, yeah, we don't mind gifts here and there. I know the girls love getting gifts, but that's really on you guys, what you're willing to support us with. <laughs> All right, so that's enough chit chatting. Let's get out to the trailer. All right, so yeah, we had an awesome mail call and I started working on the trailer doing the uh, finishing up that uh, battery switch install, but I'm going to go ahead and halt it right here uh, just so you guys know that that is still coming. A video for that is still coming, but not able to get to that this weekend, namely because one, I still need another cable section that goes from that battery itself to the switch. It's a shorter uh, cable. I forgot to make that. And second, the little bus bars that were down at the bottom aren't actually bus bars after all. They're little uh, resistors. So this is a, a 30 amp one. So these are, you can see right here, they're basically to, to help protect. I don't know if you can read that. Focus. Focus. There it goes. So that one's a 30 amp, and then the other one, same thing, but it's a 50 amp. So I'm going to go ahead and, and take these, and I'm going to get them installed into a box. A smaller box, I, I'll go pick one up, and I might even have one here, but I don't have to look around. So I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, glued in, so I have some 5-minute uh, epoxy. I can go ahead and glue these in to where it's going to be into a little junction box. I'll attach that junction box onto the side of the trailer and then route my wires into there. That way I'm not going to have to worry so much about uh, these this uh, being exposed to the weather because these little rubber caps that they had on there, garbage. So, yeah, not, not my way of, of doing work. So, uh, I'm going to make it right. I just, <laughs> unfortunately, was not able to do that this weekend. So... Hopefully by next weekend or throughout this week, uh, it's spring, y'all. So we sprung forward as of today, early, early this morning. But I do know that the missus is working on a project in the house. You guys will also see that. That's coming soon. Uh, we're getting getting the house ready to sell. So it's a lot of projects coming. Make sure that you're following us by clicking that subscribe button down the bottom. Go ahead and check out all those links down in the description. I'm also going to throw up a link to our uh, family, uh, Simple Life Reclaimed, even though they're way, way ahead of us in the game. But that's cool. They're doing their thing. They're building the cabin themselves out on their 41.36. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful place. We can't wait to go out there and visit. 
All right, so that's all we're gonna have for you this go round, even though I really did not get done what I wanted to get done. That's all right, it's all part of the game. You can see I still have a lot of work to do in here. So, <laughs> all right, y'all, we'll catch you on the next one.